Hey, midi skirts can be so hard to wear without looking frumpy, but today I have five tips that will help you wear midi skirts in a flattering and totally unfrumpy way. Welcome back to my channel. This is Netta Manley. If you're new here, I help women over 40, women like you, feel confident in their style, fight frumpiness, and have fun with fashion. So today we're going to talk about an area that can be really, really tricky to pull off over 40. I'm going to talk about how to wear a midi skirt over 40 without looking frumpy. So midi skirts are everywhere, and you may or may not have ever stopped wearing them because they've always kind of been in, in classic style territory, which by the way is going to be the topic of an upcoming video of mine. But um, the problem with midi skirts are are that they can be a little tricky to style and that they can veer into frumpy territory. So we're going to talk about how to tell the difference, how to make midi skirts work for you regardless of your height or your body type, and just all of the finer points of wearing midi skirts. Now, for those of you who don't know, a midi skirt is traditionally supposed to hit you in the middle of the calf. So that is a really, really hard place for most women to, um, to find flattering. So that mid calf area, unless you're really tall, really slim, and can pretty much wear most things really easily, um, it's going to be a really hard length. So my very first tip about styling a midi skirt and wearing a midi skirt over 40 is to pick the right length. So if you're petite or if you're tall and but most of your length is in the top half of your body and your torso and you've got shorter legs, then you're really going to want to pay attention to the length. A little bit just below the knee, maybe no more than a couple of inches below the knee, it's going to be your best bet for um, someone with shorter legs or someone who's petite. It's going to, you're going to find that it's a lot more flattering and still give you that trendy, updated, current, and modest midi effect without um, making your legs look shorter and your whole body look shorter. Of course, that's one of the, the, the downfalls of a midi skirt is that it can shorten your body. So just below the knee is going to be more flattering than um, the mid-calf length of a traditional midi. Also, if you want to try one of the new ankle length maxis, um, or midi, midi skirts that are almost maxis, you really want to make sure that you show your ankle bone um, because if it there's that area between where it shows your ankle bone and where it comes to the floor, where it's just going to be really, really hard to wear. So the ankle length style is really best for somebody with longer legs or somebody who maybe is a little bit taller. Also keep in mind that having some waist definition can make your legs look longer. So just being defined at, at the waist and rather than having a straight style is really going to kind of elongate the bottom half of your body. So make sure that you have waist definition in your midi skirts. Midi skirts are designed to be worn at the waist. They're designed to be, um, they're not designed to be low, um, but you want, you want them to hit at your natural waist and you want them to be fitted there. So if you're not comfortable with that style, you may want to consider a different alternative to a midi skirt because they, they don't look good if they are, you know, lower down around your hips. Okay. So that's, um, that waist definition is going to be really critical for elongating your silhouette. Also, I want to point out that if you are a mini like me, a, a midi might be a maxi if you're a mini. So what I have found is that it's kind of hard as a petite person, I'm 5'2", to find maxi dresses and maxi skirts that are the right length for me. But miraculously in the stores, um, I've been finding them more and more. <laughs> And honestly, it took my 14 year old daughter, um, looking at one of the, one of the items that I was trying on to say, mommy, that's designed to be a midi skirt on someone taller, but on you, it's a maxi. I was like, what? What? Oh my gosh. She's, <laughs> she's right. It was designed as a midi skirt for a taller woman. And on me, it was the perfect length maxi. The red dress that I showed on my Instagram is not designed to be a maxi dress. It was designed to be a midi dress, but on me, it's the perfect maxi. So if you're looking for a maxi and you're petite, that might be a great alternative for you. And in my opinion, maxi skirts are a lot easier to wear for those of us who are vertically challenged. So I'm going to show you a dress that I'm wearing, talking about picking the right length. This dress is a little bit... I. I I brought this dress over because I wanted to show you the, the style that's everywhere right now. This one is a little bit big on me. Um, and I think if it was the right length, 
or the right size, it would be a, a better length, but um, it is a high-low silhouette. So the thing about a high-low silhouette is you can show a little bit more of your leg in the front and create that elongation, and you've still got the midi effect in the back. What Where this is tricky is in the print, and prints are super, super tricky. I love this print because I love the colors in it. This is from Nanette Lepore, which is one of my favorite brands. It's really feminine, but um, because the print is, is just kind of over the top a little bit, uh, I would style this in a very contemporary and almost edgy way. So I probably would put in the fall, I would probably put um, very contemporary accessories. I did these, you know, oversized uh, hoop earrings and maybe even a moto jacket, like a leather moto jacket. And I'd wear it with booties or boots and just edge it up a little bit because otherwise um, a high low dress with a flowy silhouette like this, I'm gonna make sure you can see a little bit of this. Uh, with a flowy silhouette like this, um, floral prints, all of the stuff going on can really look a little bit matronly and a little frumpy. So I want to just really direct you away from some of this style unless you really are prepared to style it in a way so that it looks very contemporary and, um, and fresh and not frumpy because the styles that like you could wear this at 20 and look super super hip but at 40 or 50 you're in in a tricky territory with this style and they are everywhere okay so picking the right length was my first tip for a midi the second is to pick the right shoes so because you're already challenged with the flattery aspect of the midi you don't want to shorten your legs anymore so you want to avoid ankle straps around the waist you want to avoid um even an ankle booty, unless you're going to do um, in the fall, you're going to do a matching tight. And you're going to do that monochromatic look, which is something I definitely recommend. For example, if you're doing a black midi skirt or midi dress, you can do black tights and a black booty and you've got that nice long line. Otherwise, if you're cutting your leg at the ankle and then you've got just a few inches above it, you've got the hem of the midi skirt. It's really going to shorten your legs. Um, you want to add some edge with your shoes. You want the shoes to be cool and contemporary and really to elevate the whole midi skirt outfit, right? Um, you also can, to further make them um, more contemporary, less frumpy, to take that even further, you can do a sneaker style. So um, a cool white sneaker or a black sneaker, even a fun colorful sneaker with a midi skirt looks really fresh and contemporary and can be a way to take the frump factor out of something, for example, like the dress that I'm wearing. So if you really feel like there's a midi skirt or midi dress that you love, you wanna wear, you wanna figure out how to pull it off, but you want it to be really contemporary, add a cool sneaker. A pointy flat can also work provided you are comfortable wearing flats with that midi skirt, because again, don't forget you really wanna lengthen the legs. Point of your flats as opposed to any kind of you want to completely uh, cut out any ballet flats or round flats, that uh, round toe flats when you're wearing a midi skirt because it's gonna further shorten your legs. So the only flat that I would really recommend is um, either a flat sandal because it exposes more of your foot. So you've got that, um, Flat, that kind of balance, you're all covered at the top and then you've got a little bit more skin showing on the feet and ankle area or a pointy toe flat because that will elongate your legs. So I really like the way that sandals show your feet and give balance when you're covered otherwise. So sometimes if you feel like, oh my goodness, there's just so much fabric and I'm swimming in fabric. Again, especially for those of us who are petite, showing your feet and then showing your ankles. I always, almost always pull these sleeves up unless obviously, unless it's freezing, but I almost always pull these sleeves up and I make sure to show my ankles, my feet and my wrists for that balance that we're all looking for, right? So that was picking the right shoes. Point number two, picking the right top is point number three. So again, you really want your waist to be defined with um, a midi skirt. And wearing baggy over baggy, long over long, loose over loose is really, really hard to pull off for almost anybody. And it requires a lot of styling. So keep in mind that if you're going to be choosing a midi skirt, you're going to want a top that either tucks in, ties at the waist, or is cropped to the waist. I'm not talking about showing your belly. I'm talking about the new 
shorter tops that hit right at the waist. Those are really going to be your best bet with midi skirt. So I'm gonna show you a couple of ideas of what I would do with a midi skirt. The first would be a button down style shirt that's tied at the waist. I love this look because it's super flattering and forgiving. It allows you to put that waist detail and the waist definition in a spot where it hits you in a flattering place. It can be a little lower, it can be a little higher, but it gives you that waist definition without it being skin tight, without um, showing more or less than you want to show. So it really gives you that kind of control. The other thing I would recommend, like I said, is a top that hits right at the waist. So I have one here from Free People. Um, I love this top and it is, it's actually inside out, um, but it's got a vertical neckline. It's a ribbed sweater top and it hits me right at the waist. And that is such a nice um, detail and a nice spot to hit when I'm wearing it with a midi skirt. Also because it's fitted and my midi skirts, um, the midi skirts that are not fitted, this really creates that balance and that proportion that we're looking for. So very, very flattering. Another really cool and contemporary way to wear a midi skirt is with a tee, or a simple tee or a simple tank tucked into the skirt. This is something you might've seen on my Instagram. I wore it with a striped skirt, but um, it's from Zadig and Voltaire. I love this. Um, kind of graphic tee look with a midi skirt. Again, another way to make it more contemporary and less frumpy. Okay, so always, always show your waist and pick the right top when you're wearing a midi skirt. Okay, number four, pick the right fabric. So this is really tricky because um, you really want movement in your midi skirts whenever possible. So A-line midi skirts are really hard to wear because the fabric is stiff. So I'm gonna to get to that in the next point, but you do not want stiff fabric with midi skirts. You want the fabrics to be flowy and to have some movement, or you want them to be fitted. So those are the two silhouettes that I think are going to be the most flattering. So um, I really like a flowy um, pleated, nice pleated, a midi skirt like this. I think this is so fun to wear. I love that this, this is from Rachel Zoe. I, I love that it's got gingham and pleats, like it checks all the boxes for me. Unfortunately, this is for display purposes only because it's way too long on me and not at all flattering at that length. But if this came just below my knee, this would be amazing with um, like a graph styled with a graphic tee like this. So it checks all the boxes. It's got the gingham for summer. It's got the knife pleats. It's got the midi style. And so I love it. Um, on somebody a little bit taller. So another option for fabrics for midi skirt is something flowier and softer and and more feminine. So this is this is an older skirt. I have had this for a while. It's from a brand called Manouche. It's a French kind of boho um, brand, but I love that flowiness. This waist definition worn with a fitted top is a really beautiful classic, almost 50 silhouette that I really, really like. So um, having a flowy midi skirt that defines your waist can be really flattering if, again, if it hits at the right length. I'm always gonna go back to that right length. Another way to wear a midi skirt is um, with the fabric is to choose a more structured fabric, but the silhouette is a little bit um, a little bit more fitted. So this is a pencil skirt and it's got slits um, in the on, on, in the front and the back. So showing a little bit of leg in a midi skirt. And so when we're talking about fabric, if you're doing a, sh a more sheer fabric, like the one that I'm wearing now, that's got a little bit of, sh uh, it shows your skin a little bit through the hem of the fabric. So whether it's got that uh, slip underneath that hits a little higher, or whether you're showing leg with a slit, or whether you're showing leg with a button style like this J. Crew dress that you can unbutton a couple of buttons at the bottom so that you can see a little bit of leg. That little leg that you see at the front can be really, really flattering. So again, with the fabrics, we're going to want to go either flowy or we're going to want to go fitted. So soft and, you know, chiffonny and jersey and the knife pleated styles or something stretchy and form fitting. So I'm going to show you a couple of two options in the stretchy and form fitting category. So this is one of my favorite midi skirts. You may have seen me wear this before. I love styling this with a button down top tied at the waist. Um, I do it with chambray a lot. I'll do it with white. I'll do it with whatever color. It also would look really cute with that ubiquitous tee that I keep showing that would be really, really a cute combination. So this is 
very fitted and very kind of snug. And so it's flattering in that sense. With a style like this, you can wear either a flowy top tucked in or you can wear a more fitted top with it. Um, the other skirt I wanna show you is the uh, Free People one. And I'm just gonna take this off so you can see. This is a sweater skirt and I love so th that ribbed sweater style, which I've always loved, is so, so trendy right now. What's really cool about this, you can tell I just got this, it still has the buttons on it. What's really cool about this, it's got these beautiful buttons that you can, um, that you can button or unbutton as much as you like, but it shows a little bit of leg. And the, the ribbing on this skirt is vertical and the fact that it's fitted, it shows a little leg, it's vertical, it's black. It really makes it a very, very flattering way to wear a midi skirt. Okay, so finally, the fifth thing about the fifth point to pay attention to when you're trying to style a midi skirt is picking the right shape. So I've already alluded to a couple of these in, in the last tip, but I want to caution you again about wearing stiff a-line midi skirts. Um, the denim and leather midi, sk midi skirts that are in, st in stores right now are super, super hard to wear. It is literally like wearing a tent of stiff fabric on the lower half of your body and they're hitting at the most awkward lengths possible. Like I honestly don't know any woman I don't know any woman, I can't think of anyone who would be who would look cute in a denim midi skirt that hits at mid calf. Denim a-line midi skirt that hits at mid-calf. Super, super hard to wear. They're so bulky. They could stand up on their own. I mean, they're just, they're, they're not cute. Same with leather um, midi, A-line midi skirts. Stand up on their own, unless they've got a slit or a wrap detail or some other detail that makes it more wearable. That's a really hard silhouette to pull off. So, I wanna show you a couple of midi skirts that you can wear in real life. I've shown you a couple that I love and, um, I'm going to show you a couple more. So this one is fitted and then comes out a little bit at the hem. It is, again, this is a vintage from my closet. I've had this for a while, but I love the silhouette. It does not go out of style. It stays, um, it, it just stays super, super flattering. I love this kind of detail on it. But I mean, again, you're going to want to either go fitted or flowy, but not. A-line and boxy when you're looking at silhouettes for skirts, okay? The other um, item I wanted to show you is, again, this is an older, this is a Dion von Furstenberg uh, dress. It is a wrap style and I love this dress. I've had this for years, but what makes this so wearable, even though it's a midi style, is it's got that movement at the hem. And then because it's a wrap, it can show a little bit of leg in the front. And again, along, elongate your body, which is so important for those of us who are Petite. So I hope that you found, I know I threw a lot out at you, but I hope that you found these tips on wearing a midi skirt and styling a midi skirt over 40 in a way that is not frumpy to be helpful. I know what a challenge this is and there is no rule anywhere that says you have to wear a midi skirt. But if you do, I want to just really quickly recap um, the, the pointers that I think are really important. Choose the right length for most women. It's going to be just under the knee. Um, Pick the right shoes. Make sure that the shoes don't cut you off at the ankle and that they elongate your foot. Pick the right top. You want to show that waist. And that's all. The midi, midi skirt is all about the waist. So you want a top that allows you to showcase your waist and you want a skirt that hits you right at the waist. You may have to have it altered so it fits you perfectly at the waist. Fourth is pick the right fabric. You want the fabric to be either flowy or you want it to be snug, but you don't want it to be stiff and boxy. And then the fifth is to pick the right silhouette. Again, you want to go flowy or you want to go fitted, but you don't want an A-line uh, stiff midi skirt so hard to wear. I hope that you found these tips really helpful. I'd like to know your thoughts on midi skirts. Are they something that have always been a part of your repertoire? Are you just bringing them back? Um, are you nervous about styling them? Let me know in the comments below. I Again, I know this is tricky um, and I'm here for you cheering you on. So um, love to hear your thoughts. And of course, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell next to it to let me know what you think of this video and also to find out um, when I go live with new videos, which is every Tuesday, every Friday. Thanks so much. I will see you in the next video. Oh